How is it going everybody? You're watching Danimal Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to remove a forgotten passcode of any new iPad without a home button. Like for example, this new iPad Pro right here, which is the new iPad Pro 11 inch. And of course, this process also works with the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Keep in mind that if you're trying to do this on any other iPad, any iPad that actually has a home button, doesn't matter if it is a normal home button or a Touch ID home button, I'm going to have a link in the description because the process is different and if you want to remove a forgotten passcode of any iPhone absolutely any iPhone model the process is also a little bit different and I also have another video specific for that the link is also in the description okay so let's go ahead and begin so as you guys can already tell we will need a computer for this process but we don't need a Mac okay we don't need a Mac at all we can do this on a Windows PC as well we can do this on any computer whatsoever because we will only need iTunes for this process so uh, if you if you're running a Mac if you have a Mac like this for example a MacBook and iMac doesn't matter uh, you already have iTunes so there's nothing you need to do right now but if you're using a Windows PC and you don't have iTunes just yet go ahead and download iTunes I'm also gonna have the link to download iTunes in the description obviously it is a free software made by Apple so don't worry about it all right now there's one very important piece of information regarding iTunes so if you're doing this on a Mac like I am and if you're running Mac OS Catalina like I am as well you can see by the desktop picture right here this is the new desktop picture from Mac OS Catalina uh, you probably know that iTunes was terminated it doesn't exist anymore uh, from Mac OS Catalina on so how are we gonna do this it's actually very simple because the process is exactly the same but instead of using iTunes we're gonna use finder or normal finder uh, the, the app we use to manage our files uh, iTunes was, was completely integrated right here in, fi in, in our finder so don't worry about it because again the process is exactly the same I'm gonna show you on this Mac running Mac OS Catalina but it's exactly is exactly the same process same button same of uh, uh, same step-by-step -step guide so don't worry okay so uh, now that we have everything installed uh, I still have to tell you a little bit more information one this process will work Work on any iOS or iPadOS version as you can see here I'm running iPadOS 13 uh, so is the newest iPad is the newest iOS iPadOS version as you guys can see but if you're running iOS 12 it will work exactly the same way and another important thing you will lose absolutely everything from your iPad after this process okay this is very very important we will actually erase our iPad like uh, completely wipe out all data we're gonna do a factory new process as if you're, as if you're opening it up out of the box first day is gonna be completely zeroed so we're gonna delete all data but of course you can later restore from a backup so don't worry because you can recover all your information later and of course this process is intended to people who are actually doing this on their own devices not if you found it in the street if you stole it or anything like that this process is only if the device is actually yours if you're not stealing it or anything and this is very important because if you're doing this on a stolen device or on a device that you found on the street this is not going to work okay I'm already telling you this will only work if you're doing this on your own device I can't stress this enough all right so without all of those minutes of very very important information we can go ahead and begin and the first step of course is to actually plug our computer our iPad to the computer I have two different cables here because I have to explain you this um, if if you have an older Mac in, or an older computer for that matter you're gonna use a cable like that uh, a USB on one end and USB-C on the other end because as you know the new iPads use USB-C uh, but if you actually uh, have a newer Mac for example or a newer computer a newer Windows PC you're gonna use this cable which is USB-C to USB-C which is a cable that actually comes in the box uh, with your iPad so uh, if you're doing this on a, on a USB device like I am on a normal USB uh, you're actually gonna need to get this cable because it doesn't come in the box or anything like that so that's important now we're gonna plug the cable to the computer on one end and to the to the iPad on the other end before you plug go ahead and open iPad iTunes. So if you're using any version of macOS or if you're using a PC, open iTunes right now. Uh, but if you're using macOS Catalina like I am, you don't need to actually open iTunes. You don't need to open anything. You can leave it on the desktop as I am right now. So you just plug it in. And now that the iPad is plugged, you're going to wait for it to actually uh, charge. 
So I'm gonna have it right here. So as you guys can see, it's already charging. And uh, as soon as it's charging, it means that the computer that the computer recognized your iPad. Now that you have your iPad plugged into the computer, all you have to do is put it in recovery mode. And that's the important part because that's a manual step. And that's why it's different from any other processes I've made because on the iPad Pro, it is different. And the process you put in recovery mode is actually very, very simple because we're gonna play with our volume buttons, as you guys can see here, and with the power button at the top. And how do we do this? To put in recovery mode, uh, first of all, I'm gonna explain you and then I'm gonna do it right like in action. So first of all, you're gonna uh, press and release the, the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then we're gonna press and hold the power button and keep holding until we see uh, the recovery screen. So now I'm gonna show you in action. So I'm gonna press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and press and hold the power button. So as you guys can see, you have to be a little bit fast. Uh, you can go too slow, otherwise it will go into like Siri mode. But uh, if you do it a little bit fast, so volume up release, volume down release, and press and hold power button. As you guys can see, I'm not pressing and holding any other buttons, just the power button. And as you guys can see, just like that, you see the recovery mode screen, and all you have to do is release uh, the power button. And now you can actually already put your iPad right here on a table, on a desk, or anything like that, because we're not gonna mess with it anymore. And very important, never unplug the cable, okay? So always leave the the cable plugged in and don't touch the iPad because everything we need right now we're gonna do from our computer. So uh, as I mentioned if you're using any other version of uh, Mac OS older version of Mac OS, or if you're using a PC, uh, you will have iTunes open and you're already gonna see the recovery mode uh, screen. Uh, iTunes is already gonna tell you you are in recovery mode. But if you're using Mac OS Catalina, now we go ahead and open Finder. And then we're gonna go here on your left sidebar here and open iPad. You're gonna let it load. And now we get this pop-up screen saying there is a problem with the iPad. iPad that requires it to be updated or restored. This is the same screen you get. Doesn't matter if you're doing this on Finder or iTunes. It is the same screen. And of course, what we need to do is go ahead and restore. If you, if you go ahead and update, it will not work. We need to restore. That's why we will actually uh, delete all the information and lose all data from our iPad. So uh, as you guys are seeing here, uh, it's just saying that are you sure you want to restore and everything else? And then is telling you that it will restore and update and that's what you want so restore and update uh, depending on what you're doing uh, or not on what device you're doing and if you're doing on iTunes or something you may get extra screen saying that you're going to download iOS 12 or iOS 13 and it's gonna tell you which iOS you're actually downloading so it doesn't matter uh, it's just extra steps and now we're actually go ahead and start and download the iOS itself so we'll start to download iOS so now it's just a matter of of waiting. On macOS Catalina is a little bit more simple because you don't get a lot of information, you don't get many screens or anything like that. You just get this screen saying that uh, the iPad is in recovery mode and your Mac is preparing to restore the software on this iPad. If you're doing this on iTunes, which most of you people are gonna be doing, uh, you're probably gonna see much more information. First of all, you're gonna see the download screen, which is gonna be somewhere around here at the top right corner. So then you can see uh, how the process and the progress and how long it's gonna take for for iTunes to actually download the software. So uh, on that stage, you just have to wait. Just wait for iTunes to download. Don't unplug the iPad or anything like that. Just let iTunes download. Uh, and another very important thing, if your download takes a lot of time to, to, to be finished, uh, maybe your iPad is gonna come back from recovery mode. This is very, very important. If your iPad comes back to life, if it comes out of the recovery mode, uh, just wait for the download to finish, all right? So wait for iTunes to download iOS and then you're gonna put your iPad into recovery mode again so wait for the download to finish then follow the same process volume up volume down and press and hold power button and then you're gonna put in recovery mode again just after the download has finished because then we will start the process so this is very very important so now all you have to do is wait and then guys, after the download finishes, the computer will start automatically restoring your iPad. So now we already can see a new screen, as you guys can see right here, uh, with the Apple logo and a status bar at the bottom. It's probably hard to see because of how far it is, but there's a, star a status bar, a progress bar, that's being loaded right here at the bottom. So then all you have to do, of course, is just wait. Uh, of course, uh, if you're doing this on iTunes, you're gonna see a lot of screens, a lot of information right here at the top saying extracting 
software, very fine installing and everything like that. But as I said, on macOS Catalina is much more simple because it's doing via it's being done via Finder. So then all you see is your Mac is preparing to restore the software on this iPad, but it's actually exactly the same. It's just the amount of information you get. And then you're gonna get this other pop-up screen saying that your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. You're gonna get a very similar uh, pop-up window, a pop-up screen on your iTunes as well, saying that it has finished it and the process, uh, the rest of the, pro of the process will be finished on your iPad, on the device itself. But still, uh, leave it on, don't, don't unplug it just yet, just in case. So so still let it do its thing there's nothing you need to do now and then guys just like that we're done as you guys can see uh, our iPad has uh, automatically uh, restarted and we are seeing right here our welcome screen which is our setup screen right here uh, saying hello in various uh, different languages and now all you have to do you already know is just normally set it up so you can now unplug from the computer okay you're fine you can just go ahead and unplug it and you can close iTunes you don't need any more uh, iTunes or the computer or anything like that and the process is normal so just go ahead set it up put your language put your Apple ID here's the part that if you have a backup it is important that you actually go ahead and recover from the backup uh, so then uh, you don't lose any information or anything like that and your old passcode is gone you have successfully removed a forgotten passcode of your new iPad Pro without a home button so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure and go ahead and hit the like button down below also please make sure to go ahead and hit the comment section and tell me what were your problems if you had any problems and if you have suggestions or anything like that i'm gonna answer everybody so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a couple days bye bye